You're insecure, don't know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. Don't need makeup to cover up. Being the way that you are is enough. Everyone else in the room can see it. Everyone else but you. Oh. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed. Hi, everyone, and welcome to beautyblondie.com. I'm Elizabeth, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade leg warmers. With it being so cold out, I love to add leg warmers just to maybe if you have ballerina flats on or if you want to go ahead and put it with your boots. You can have it coming out of your boots. You can have it with tights, nylons. You can do it just plain. I love the versity that you have with using leg warmers. So what I have here is I have a variety of different color sweaters. Sweaters that don't fit. Um, one that place I love to get sweaters is our Goodwill. They have it's called the one two three sale, and they have things for a dollar twenty three. So you can get nice sweaters that work out perfect. You can find different colors, whatever works out best for you. So you're going to need, like I said, an old sweater and a pair of scissors. It's very simple, so easy. You're gonna just love this. You're gonna want to like cut up all your sweaters, but don't do any good ones. Only do the ones that don't fit or don't work anymore. So we're going to start here. This one is just a tan sweater and you'll set it down on your table or wherever your workstation is and right where the underarm and then to the top of the shoulder you want to cut a straight line. So you can kind of see here it goes straight up. That's where you want to cut. Makes it nice and easy so you have a straight line here all the way to a straight line at the end. So you take your scissors, make sure you have fabric scissors. These are, um, these are Fiskars, they're really good fabric scissors. They cut extremely well and it makes a nice smooth line. So you're just gonna go ahead and start by just cutting off one of the arms. Perfect, see? Now we'll go ahead and we'll do the other one. Do the exact same thing, line it up, make sure it's nice and smooth. Do the same from the top to the arm, underarm. All right, so you have that done. You go ahead, you dispose of this. You won't be needing it anymore. And then you have two of the same size, same color leg warmers. You just go ahead, stretch it out a little bit, and you could wear it either way. I like to usually put the bottom where the arm was down at the ankle, and then you can use the top where the top was. You can put that down by your calf. It works out perfect every time. You're just going to love this. I know once you start, you're just gonna to wanna to keep trying all different leg warmers. Depending on the type of sweater you have, your, your uh, cut might come out exact and be a perfect line each time. But then if you have more of like a knit sweater, let's say like this one, your line is a little bit more jaggedy and not as even. So on those, I'll just usually tuck those in when I put that onto my calf area. And it, fits and it looks really nice and smooth each time. So it kind of just gives it a nice even look, easy to tuck in. I've never had a problem with it untucking, but it's a great little trick to be able to help with that. So I have different colors here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make as well. And that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I'd love to answer them. If not, just please, I hope you have a lot of fun. It is super easy. It's a great way to reuse some of the uh, clothes that you don't have and to be able to make something new out of it. So great do-it-yourself tutorial. And yes, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Elizabeth from beautyblondie.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel so you don't miss some other great tutorials.